just kind of wanted your your take on uh, the offense's struggles there, really, I guess, starting in the second quarter and what Notre Dame did to kind of shut the team down and the struggles in trying to adjust to that. So I, I would tell you that uh, the game plan we had for the, the two weeks preparing for them pretty much went how we thought it would in the first half. I mean, we were pleased with the first half. We had five drives. We had two touchdowns and a field goal, so we scored on three of the five. Um, we had two drives that started at our own three-yard line, and, uh, you know, one of them we weren't able to get out. The other one we were. Um, I, I think we wound up punting them to their 16-yard 16, 16 line on that one. So we were, we were happy. We knew it was going to be a physical battle. Uh, we knew we were going to have to trigger the ball quickly. We knew we were going to have to establish, um, you know, a, a little bit of a run game early on, you know, to be able to do the things that we wanted to do. And so the first half really went – the way we expected, to be honest with you. And so, uh, you know, truthfully at halftime, I did not feel a need to change the plan at all. I mean, we talked about things we wanted to do in the run game and things we wanted to continue to attack Notre Dame with, but the plan was working. So I would say about three drives into the third quarter, we really continued with that plan. And, you know, it really came down to us uh, physically just not, not getting it done at the level that we did in the first half in the second half. What were they doing so well to take away the run in the second half? You know, we, 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 we manufactured some six boxes that we, we really should have been more productive on and we, we weren't, you know, and those were tough downs because you, you, you stressed them on the perimeter and you stressed them down the field and we got them to expand number six a little bit more than uh, he has in the, in the, in the past or in the season which, you know, you would think would help us in the run game. So we're, we're blocking six on six. And that wasn't as productive as we would like have liked it to be. And, you know, that's that's really it made the difference in the second half. They just they played more physical football than we did. Great. Thank you. Yes, sir. OK, uh, let's go over to Dina King. Hey, coach, at this level, what is more difficult for players to master run or pass blocking and why? You know, I, I, that's a, that's a tough, I'm curious. I don't know what coach zeros would tell you. I think, uh, I think they're both difficult. I think run blocking probably is, is a little less difficult. Um, pass, pass protection has a tendency to put you on an Island one-on-one. -on -one. Um, it's not quite as aggressive in nature, you know? So I, I think, uh, just in general, I would say pass protection and pass blocking from a technique standpoint and an athletic standpoint is a greater challenge than, than being a good run blocker. To follow up, where's your group now compared to where you want them to be? Well, I, I don't know that they're, they're ever where you want them to be. You always want to be better. You know, you take a look at what you do from a pass pro standpoint and a run game standpoint. And there's when you have five linemen and, and all five of them are doing something on every play, you can find something you want to be better at. And that, you know, our guys have done a great job over the course of the last two years of continually improving week to week. And when you, when you play games like this, sometimes it, uh, it will expose or reveal something that you, you know, you want to spend more time on or emphasize. And so that that's what we need to do from this Notre Dame game is take what uh, we did not do well and, and emphasize that and make sure that the next time we're in that same situation, we're able to perform a little bit more, you know, a little bit higher level. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, our next question comes from Ross Marvin. Hey, Phil, was there anything that Notre Dame did on defense, uh, whether that be schematically or just physically, that surprised you more so uh, in the game than you did kind of preparing for them? Uh, no, not truthfully, no. I, I don't think we thought we were going to be able to get six away from the box as early as we did, you know, and that was uh, part of the – the equation to having some run success in the first half. Uh, so, we, you know, I, I think they gave us some respect in the passing game earlier than maybe I expected it to happen. Um, we, we thought that if our plan was going well, that obviously, uh, you know, coach of DC there does a fantastic job of countering things. But we, we thought, you know, based, based on what was in their wheelhouse, what they had done over the last two years, we would, we would either see more cover one, more man coverage, or we would see more pressure. Uh, and I think in the second half, the, the latter is what we saw. We saw more pressure as a, as a result of some of the success that we had in the first half. Uh, 